Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a video on my story kind of thing again. So I posted it and I think it was my first video on this channel. So I'm just going to go over it because my friend asked me to do it so I thought I would. So let's start out with kindergarten. Okay, so First day of kindergarten, I cried and cried because I didn't like school at all. Well, it was my first day, so I really didn't know. So, I walked in, and the teacher, I loved my teacher. Her name was Miss Riley, and she was so nice. And she made me really comfortable, so I was really good in kindergarten, in grade 1, in grade 2, grade 3, and grade 4. Grade 5 is when the more difficult years started coming up, like, grade 5 I started having these really bad stomach aches, and it was the point where I would just curl up in a ball and just, like, hope it would be over, but it doesn't go away that easily, and so we started going to the hospital around three times a week to see if we knew what it was and this wasn't appointments it was just in the emergency room because it got to the point at night where I just had to go in but they really didn't do anything about it they just give me a needle and it would like numb me really and then I just go home so we did that till so that was grade four we did that till around grade six and then we started get, getting into operations so still at this point we have no idea what it is so grade six it was still to the point where I was just getting ultrasounds and biopsies and stuff done but they all came back negative and at this point I was just really frustrated and I just wanted to find out what it was and in school it because I wasn't there a lot and it I was probably there two times a week, and those two times a week I was there, I'd always get told, oh, why weren't you here? Like, where were you? Just dropping out of school? Like, and what am I going to say? Like, oh, no, I was just at the hospital. And at the point of grade seven, that's what I started telling people, because it was the truth. And, but, and then grade seven, I started getting called the sick kid. And that's one thing you don't want to be, is the sick kid. So that was my name through grade 7 till now, which I'm in grade 10. And so grade 7, I went for a scope where they put a tube down your throat into your stomach. And I got a biopsy done, and I was terrified but it all came back negative. Now let me go back. Probably, this was grade seven still, and this is one moment that I'll never forget. My parents were at a stag and doe, and I was home watching my brother, and they came back, mom came back, and dad stayed there for a little bit, because it was just at the arena, and we live across from the arena. So, I fell asleep on the couch, and I woke up, sweating drips like and in agonizing pain and that's the worst pain I've ever felt and I woke up and I went to go wake up dad and he wouldn't wake up like he drank so much he wouldn't wake up at all and so I went to go get mom and this was on the day of my friend's birthday party. So I missed that. But they brought me stuff. And so I went and got mom. And she drove me. But it was so foggy. So foggy. And then we didn't go to Strathroy. We went, ended up going into London. And we sat there for hours. I'm saying probably six hours at the least. 
in the waiting room and then they called me in and mom was sitting beside me and I remember just crying and the two doctors were standing in front of me and I was sitting on the side of the bed and I was just bawling and bawling and I'm like I have been through so much can you please please just help me figure out what this is because at that point it was two three four times a week in the hospital and then when it then when it got to the point of grade eight if I made it two weeks out of a hospital I was like that was a goal to me so that was the most memorable moment and they just sat there and they stared at me and they're like sorry you're gonna have to leave we can't do anything for you right now there's more people waiting and I'm like this is your job to help me and try to figure out what this is and you're just gonna tell me to leave because you can't help me like you think you would want to look into it further like they honestly didn't do anything I walked in I sat there in the room and they came in and said sorry you have to leave there's too many people and we don't know what we can do for you and the worst part is going into a hospital that many times a week every person in the hospital knows your name you don't have to give them your information or nothing everyone knows your name all by heart that is one of the worst things you don't want to have so graduated grade 8 that went all good maybe I'll insert some pictures of my grade 8 graduation that went well so then going to grade 9 missed the first week and I think this was the point where my stomach wasn't bad but now it's just the point where I'm scared of people like I have high high anxiety to the point where like I can't go places like I don't leave the house I just go to school and home which is hard like the school is now customized to me where I go from 8 a.m. till 11 and do four classes in that time period because I just really want to graduate get that over with and go to college because it's not as strict so I got that done and I missed the first week and this lady was coming to our house and she was a social worker and for years I was told that I was going to be taken away from my home because I wasn't at school and I'm like I always took the fault for it because I thought oh it is your fault why why are you doing this to yourself but now I realize it's really not my fault like I can't do anything about it and it's just a chemical imbalance in my brain or something so this lady came in and she helped me so much she said if we can get you into this school that's our goal so she's like first day go 15 minutes if you can make it 15 minutes that's a goal for the first week so we just built up the days until I was a full day now grade 10 so grade 9 the rest of the year went really good now grade 10 I'm doing just till 11 because my, I have a new social worker and she's helping a little bit but I kinda like the other one better because she just knows everything I went through and the new lady really doesn't so she's just like oh you have to go like she's really hypocritical so yeah so we're at that point now and I'm just waiting to see if anything goes better I haven't been to the hospital in a year that's amazing to me like amazing from the point of being in grade like five till ten so five years of this but it just started when I was three now I'm 16 like yeah so I'm happy that we're at this point and I just can't wait for summer and if you guys have any questions or want me to go through of what I really have and all that just comment and ask below and I'll do that alright so bye guys I'll probably put another video up tomorrow alright bye